What a time for semiconductors in India. What a time. Throughout my career, I have been asked whether India was ready to be a player in the global semiconductor industry. And I've been asked, kuch hoega? To which my response was, hoega, it should happen, it will happen. Since I joined ISM, people have started asking again, kuch ho ra hai? Is it happening? And my response has been, yes, it will happen, it is happening. But today, I can say, shuru ho gaya hai. It has begun. The journey has begun. For the first time in, the India's, in India's history, geopolitics, domestic policies, and private sector capacity are aligned in India's favor to become player in semiconductor production. First time. I'm so excited for what to come. We'll look back on the year 2023, this year, as a milestone year in which things begin to sh take shape, starting with Micron's investment. <laughs> this investment from Micron is the catalyst that will set the stage for others to follow. Micron is making history in India. This, would, have, this would, have, would not have happened without the hard work of ISM, MITI, and the support and leadership of Prime Minister Modi ji and the visionary ministers, Shri Ashwini Vaishnav and Shri Rajiv Chandrasekhar ji. What makes now different for India? That's the question. And the answer is, I firmly believe having ministers who truly understand the semiconductor ecosystem and have fostered the right policies to support private sector investment is what makes now a different thing. I'm hopeful that other companies will follow suit and come see what India has to offer. As I said, the stars are aligned for semiconductors in, in India. And there has never been a more exciting time in this space. The global semiconductor industry, which is about 60 some years old, is poised to double in IT, IC revenue to $1 trillion in the next six to seven years. Now it is your turn, fellow Indians, fellow Bharat Vasiyo, it is your turn. Now, I have been in the industry more than four decades, and I have personally witnessed, I will give two examples of countries in the neighborhood, Taiwan and South Korea. I've seen them in making, and they've become the big powerhouse of semiconductors in the world. Now it's our turn in India. India will be the next powerhouse in Asia in semiconductors. So it is up to us as fellow Indians to make this happen. With my role as SEMI, I can make some commitments. SEMI's charter is to enable the global semiconductor ecosystem, and we welcome India with open arms, and India has SEMI's full support and my full commitment. With that, I can say, chalo, ab kuch karke dikhate hain. Let's make it happen. Thank you, and jai Hind.